A total of 102 teams and approximately 3,000 participants took part in Noah Dobson's Hockey Fest weekend, which has grown tremendously in its brief history in the city of Summerside. The first year of the event, we uh, we were just Hockey Fest. Um, you know, it's a it's a worldwide biggest uh, street hockey festival in the world. Um, and then we decided year two we wanted to grow it even more. Uh, it was our first year with bringing Noah on as our branding partner. Um, we're fortunate enough to have him on board, so it's year two of that. So three in, in full, but two with Noah. And uh, he's here right now today, checking out the grounds and taking pictures, signing autographs. And it's uh, it's been great to grow this event and really uh, hone in on the community spirit of Summerside and, and Hockey Fest in general. The 2024 event was the largest hockey fest in Canada this year, and it featured male and female players competing in under seven to adult divisions. 15-year-old Joe Arsenault of St. Louis PEI participated in Hockey Fest for the first time. I think it's good for getting outside, getting active, meeting new people. It's good overall, having fun, auto, summer, everybody's excited. It also marked Bennett Arthur's Hockey Fest debut. The nine-year-old from Freetown PEI plays defense in ice hockey and talks about what he likes about playing goal in street hockey. Um, that, that you can stop breakaway, it's special breakaway. Especially making big saves. Nine-year-old Easton Coughlin of St. Louis also enjoyed the Hockey Fest experience. I wanted to play because, like, I this is my first time, and a lot of my friends are in there. Seven-year-old Frankie McDonald, who plays minor hockey in Tig Nish, talks about the differences playing ice hockey and street hockey. Different because when you go to shoot the puck in ice hockey, it slides on the ice and goes zooming. But in ball hockey here, when you shoot the ball or pass it, it goes really slow because it's paved and it's a ball. The ball hockey players weren't the only winners last weekend. The host committee for Noah Dobson's Hockey Fest partnered with Community Connections, an organization that provides programming for adults with intellectual disabilities. All proceeds from the event will go to Community Connections, which helped organize and operate the event. As well, Noah Dobson presented 30 sets of hockey gear to the Summerside Minor Hockey Association on behalf of the National Hockey League Players Association. In Summerside, Prince Edward Island, I'm Jason Simmons for Saltwire.